YouTube, Topaz Jace back for another daily review, and this one is the Fabulous and Jadakiss Rapture featuring Toy Lanes, and I'm giving this one the green light, because this track is really dope, bruh. Like, this one is one that makes you think, like, okay, these guys have been in the game for quite some time. How is this Freddy vs. Jason project just now happening? That's how dope this is. Even as it's a commonly used sample, that sample was chopped up differently than how most people have done before in the past. But yet, the main thing about this is the lyricism, dude. Like, I really enjoyed that production. I really enjoyed that hook by Toy Lanes and all that. But the lyricism shows us that they come in with some heat for this project hit. Like how Fabulous saying, here today, gone tomorrow, like a Snapchat for thugs. That was an awesome punchline. How he's leaving paper on the strip club floor because they came to be littering. That was pretty solid. How people are always going to take this shot, especially if you the hoop, man. Fab came through on the lyricism, dude. And Jadakiss wasn't too far behind how he said the thirst always comes with the grub. How you need to step lightly like this thumbtacks in the rub. How the dirtiest person is usually the first one in the tub, man. He's definitely spitting as well. See, this song really, really excites me for this upcoming project that they're working on, man. And you know, now I'm gathering and understanding why it's getting delayed and all of that because they actually are attempting to make something great here. But a quick recap, the positives that I'm taking from this is absolutely everything. The negatives that I'm taking from this is absolutely nothing. Go get that joint. But this concludes today's review, and now we're gonna jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Reef Hustle before we take some of your questions. top of his game today, man. And you know, that is the pole jocking comment so far of 2017, bruh. Because it is quite obvious that he is nothing like he was back in his prime. But yet, you rocking with him and saying that he is, that shows what kind of fan you are. I mean, it's obvious that DMX needs help, and not just musically, man, just in life in general with everything that's been happening to him over these past bunch of years that has probably ultimately pushed back this project that they've been working on. And Yoshi asks, where's this Psy High album and such, man? And I feel you 100%, because this is why he came out and flipped on all of good music last year, I believe. Or was that even the year before? I can't even quite remember but yet ultimately they never put out his stuff and they still not putting out anything of his man and it would not shock me if he snaps out on them again but yet as musical fans man we got to understand we cannot sit up and wait and anticipate people's projects like this all the time especially when underground acts are dropping every day you just gotta get your mind off of the whole the name brands and all of that and go seek out some quality music while you wait for the people that you really been waiting on and after a while you'll come to realize like it's not that important anymore man because you're getting quality music regardless i mean the day that your favorite artist drop is going to be a good day but yet till then you're going to have a bunch of good days too i hope you enjoyed the show you can follow me at twitter up there and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article